Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while and that is doodling or drawing or painting over photographs. I'm not very much of a digital artist, uh, just warning you. I have owned a Wacom bamboo tablet since 2013 when I was about 13 years old. <laughs> But I haven't used it as much as I'd like to, and I wanted to practice a little bit more of digital art. The software I am using is called Krita. It is, I think it is open source, but if it is not open source, it is free. So I took a few photos when I went to Sintra, to Park de Moschat. It is a very beautiful park, it shows a few pictures. I chose one of moss, another one of moss, more moss, because you can tell I love moss. And this picture is the roof, like the mossy roof of... I may insert a picture so you know what I'm talking about. The way the roots connected to the rest of the tree was very fascinating to me in that moment, so I took a few photos playing around with perspective. I really liked the way this one came out. So, what I was thinking was to do these six photos, but I think that would be an incredibly long video since I'm not very used to digital things. It will take me longer than it would take someone with more experience. So I think I'm going to focus on each one at a time and depending on how much time I spend on each one I may do like one or two or maybe three but I'm not expecting to make six right now. But I really want to do this last one. This one I'm not as excited as I was when I took the picture so I want to scrap this one. I really like the one of the rooftop. It's funny because I didn't think about painting over the pictures while I was taking them. I was thinking I need a new desktop background <laughs> and I really wanted some moss so that's why there are so many moss pictures. I think I'm going to start with this one. At first I thought I was going to paint over everything and create like a landscape or something from the picture, a little bit like um, those older videos by Ross Draws, where he has, I think it was a magical girl made out of a um, hot dog. So I was really excited to do that, but I think, now that I think about it, I don't think that's a great way to go, because I think it will be very dis demotivating for someone who has not been using digital. I want to start small, and maybe one day I'm going to do paint overs like that. So, I have created a second layer, and I am going to be using pink. I'm using just a chalk brush. I would like to make some tiny creatures inhabiting this place. I'm not sure if I want to turn the leaves into houses or if I want to just place creatures on top of the leaves. I think it could be fun to do something like this, where the house would be something like this, and the tree, the tree, the, um, yeah, the tree would be the ground, and the leaf would be the, the roof. So what I was thinking, is having like the door over here and then having some windows over there. I feel like I'm just drawing some... Ah, I would lo love to use some Art Nouveau kind of things in the, in the buildings because it's an area of architecture that I really enjoy. I would love to be able to explore that kind of aesthetic more because I just love it and like there's just something so nice about seeing, about being walking through a city and seeing such beautiful buildings. 
I think I'm making this a little bit too complicated for myself, so I think I'm going to stick to one picture for now. I think that's my best option because I'm getting very much into this building kind of thing right now and it looks a little bit wonky. I can see that the perspective is very off in some places but I can't really see how to fix it which means I need to study perspective again. Yay! But basically the reason why I really wanted to do this kind of thing with sort of a wor world or some sort of a um, landscape or cityscape. I've been playing Animal Crossing and I've been very inspired to draw a little bit more worlds or places instead of just characters. I was thinking of making this, this rock like a hotel I'm gonna add another layer and I think I want to try and paint this as if it was like a gouache painting. I think I'm going to use a shortcut right now. I'm going to use like a stamp brush or something like this. Okay, so I think it looks kind of strange but I actually really like how this is looking right now. I feel like every other time I tried digital art I always felt held back by expectations of myself so I thought that digital art would be easier than traditional art that's not true by the way digital art is just as hard as traditional art and that's why for a long time I didn't do it because I thought well if it is just as hard I might just I may as well just focus on the one I'm better at that was a mistake because I think this is very fun and today I'm trying not to get caught up in too many details. I want to make this enjoyable to do and enjoyable to watch so it's very strange to have the infinite possibilities of digital art and not very strange to not be able to use it because of laziness. I'm going to erase that over there and I'm tempted to erase this one because I think it would look better with just the hotel and the tiny house next to it. Yeah, I think I want to consider this done. I really wanted to add a little bit of life because right now there is not one single creature in sight. What I'm going to do is try and add a creature, hopefully a simple creature. I'm going to delete the sketch layer and I'm going to paint directly without any sketch layer. I think I'm going to consider those legs a creature. <laughs> oh my, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting lazier because I'm very tired. I think I'm going to consider this done. I find it an interesting exercise and I really want to do it again. Maybe print the pictures and paint on top. Maybe do it like this again because, well, I, need, I clearly need to practice. I feel like I have so many things I need to practice before making this picture better that I'm like... <laughs> I need to practice uh, rendering glass, rendering wood, rendering perspective, anatomy, things. My head is exploding, I'm getting frustrated. And maybe we can do some sort of vlog of me learning how to paint digitally. I will consider this done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this more than what I enjoyed making it. I mean, it's been a strange ride for me and I want to practice more this type of thing. It is very fun to draw on top of pictures, but maybe next time I need to sketch on paper before translating it into digital, so that I know uh, how much detail I can go and what to do actually because I feel like I lost 
a lot of brain cells today. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next week. And yeah, bye.